Let's talk about all these Vikings could sneak into the playoffs. Playoffs? All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lopagas Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagas. Vikings 2-4, and four, looking gross, but damn it, we're going to see it. We're going to find a little path that the Vikings could uh, sneak their way into the playoffs. I know a lot of people in our comments are going, woo oh, season's over, this is bullshit. It's only Thomas. It's only Thomas right now. Uh, yes, before we talk about this long, lonely road of faith, great Kid Rock song, uh, to the playoffs, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that button, we're what, 50? 5, 52, 53 away from 10,000. Oh. Hashtag 10K in the comments, and you get a chance to win one of these bad boys. So hit that sub button, hit it hard. Uh, just like the Vikings are going to need to do in these next couple of games. To get the Addison helmet, you have to be a YouTube member. That is where that drawing is going to be. All right. So I think for the playoff wise, like realistically, the Vikings would probably have to be in the nine and eight range. Nine and eight. Last year, uh, the Giants got in, they were like eight, seven, and one. Uh, Seahawks got in at like nine and eight, those wild cards. So nine and eight is kind of the baseline, what I'm thinking here. Well, unless, yeah, because let's remember the NFC is not looking great right now. There's a bunch of teams that are three or two wins, and only what is that? One, two, three, four, or well, four that have four or more. So this isn't like looking like a great conference right now. No. And if this was the AFC, the nine and eight would definitely not be the uh, the baseline. So the NFC, we get a little bit of a treat here. And then, you know what? We're going to go through this, and it's not even that crazy. It's not even that crazy to get to 9-8. and eight. So let's look at the Vikings' upcoming schedule. What's left? Again, we are 2-4. and four. Yeah, in the game Monday night, that's going to be a very tough game against the San Francisco 49ers, arguably the best team in all of football, coming to U.S. Bank, where we are 0-3. Yeah, and I mean, I think we're going to chalk up a loss to the to the Niners. Uh, if they shock the world, beautiful. But we got to be realistic here, too. So the Niners loss, Green Bay, I think, could go either way. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna chalk up a win, and I, I'm going to break it down here in a minute. But uh, let's just go game by game quick. Green Bay win, agreed? I agree. Yeah, we should win that one. Atlanta right now, three and three. They're kind of a – it's, it's kind of hit or miss with Atlanta, but – I'm, I'm giving them a win there, too. I agree. I think uh, Flores will blitz the hell out of Desmond Ritter, uh, make some mistakes. That should be, uh, you know, the difference in that one. Wow. Just that easy. Saints. Saints suck. Uh, yeah, Dubsky. I mean, Dubsky good defense. They have a good defense. Their offense is horrible. If you, if you just cover Elvin Kamara, you're fine. They have no passing game. And I know you're probably watching this saying, oh, boy, Kool-Aid is running thick. They're, they have the Vikings ripping off all these wins. But – it is not crazy. I know we don't have Justin Jefferson, but uh, let's keep going here. So Denver win, Bears win. Uh, so looking at that. Well, and let's not forget here, Jefferson could potentially be back for that Saints game, correct? Uh, yes, he could. So this would put us at uh, two and five. So three and five, four and five, five and five, six and five, seven and five at the buy going into the buy, seven and five going into the buy, uh, which would be one hell of a turnaround. It would be. And really, I mean, you look at it, <clears throat> the Vikings take away the turnovers. They've made so many self inflicted mistakes here. This team is probably better than their two and four record shows. So being at the buy at seven and five, yeah, I mean, it's not like we're talking crazy here. And just, just one thing is, in Green Bay, um, even if we get that loss and we're, we're what, we'd be 6-6 six and six in at the mm -hmm. bye, right? Yep. We're going to split with Green Bay, so we're going to get the next one. So mm -hmm. uh, even if we lose Green Bay, 6 or whatever, it's still doable. Raiders, shit show. Yep. That's a win. So uh, we got a dub there, uh, which would bring us to 8-5. Eight 8-5, and five. Eight and five. going to the Bengals, yes, loss, 8-6. Yep. Uh, you can you can tell me if I'm wrong here. Detroit lost eight and seven. Yeah, I don't know. I still think we get one from Detroit. Maybe it's the last one where they have nothing to play for. Well, you uh, you called that one. Green Bay winner lost there. I think we split with Green Bay. We uh, I think that's just a gimme. And and actually, yeah, I had us beating Detroit at the end just for the fact that they're not going to have anything to play for. This division is theirs, yeah. um, and we could pull off a, a win. So that has us at nine and eight. And you can massage some of these wins and losses. Let's say we lose to Atlanta 
But then we also surprise surprise everybody and beat Cincinnati, a team that is shown that they are beatable. So just because the exact wins and losses we have, you can, you can move some of those around. And, and that, you know, we have to get in this year the way we started the season, the hole we put ourselves in. We have to hope we can get in the playoffs as a wild card. Then you're just hoping that the team can get hot, figure things out, and go on a run. Uh, and you just never know once you get the playoffs. So 9-8, if that gets you there, you, hell, 8-9 might even get you there this year. Oh, God, I don't know about that. I hope so. Uh, but, hey, let's be clear. We're 2-4. and four. Things aren't looking great. Shit should could go off the rails, and we just might be 2-15. Two, two and 15. Yeah, it, it, goes, it could go south, too. I mean, we've already had two major injuries. Uh, Jefferson going out, Davenport on IR. Those aren't going to help, but uh, the schedule, I mean, and granted, I'm sure Green Bay, Atlanta, New Orleans are all thinking, okay, we got the Vikings coming here. That's probably a win. So they're probably thinking the same thing we are. Uh, but these teams coming up here after the Niners, those are all so winnable. So damn winnable. we're gonna we're gonna know real quick. San Francisco, yeah. like like we said, loss. Green Bay, even if it's a loss, there's still a path. But Atlanta, <clears throat> that's the one. Like, we, we're we're gonna have to beat Atlanta. We're gonna have to beat the Saints and the and Denver and Chicago. I mean, that those are just gimmies. But if we're out of it, uh, you know, they're also gonna probably start looking to trade some players. Yeah. So and then it has to happen by Halloween. So. The green meat, the green bag game will be huge. Green meat? I, Did you say green meat? What is on green, your brain? Green meat and eggs. I love that book. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, yeah, the green bag game, I think, is going to be the uh, indicator whether or not Hunter stays with the team the rest of the season or not. All right, let us know what you think of the Vikings' path to the playoffs. We call it Vikings P to the P. Uh, and then uh, let us know in the comments and let us, uh, let us know what you think about this. The longest English word without a vowel is twindlings, which means twins.